because the hair. Okay. Alright guys, today's video we're going to talk about this thing. The Pokemon Go Plus. Let's do it. Alright guys, here it is. It's the Pokemon Go Plus. This is how it become how it comes packaged. Um Yeah, you got just, you know, Pokeball design on the uh maps pin. Um uh, there's the clip. And of course it does come with the wrist strap. But we'll get into the wrist strap later. Um you know, uh, it's easy to pair. It comes with instructions. Um, first of all, you know, you'll pair go into this uh, app settings for um, Pokemon Go Plus within the app. Actually, you'll tap on Pokemon Go Plus and go from there. It'll tell you how to pair it. Um, lights on here. If you see a green light, that means there's a Pokemon that you have caught previously nearby. Um, if it's a yellow light, that means that it is a new Pokemon that you haven't caught that's nearby. Um, and let's see if it's, if it blinks blue, that means there's a Pokestop in range. But let me tell you from first hand experience, just because it, it blinks that it's in range doesn't mean it's actually in range because I've had the app open before, you know, driving around neighborhoods and stuff and, and passing familiar, uh, Pokestops and it'll say Pokestop in range. I'll tap the button, it'll blink red, which means it's out of range, or you missed the Pokestop. But if you look on the map, with the, uh, the game open, you'll actually see that the Pokestop would be just out of reach of the, you know, the expanding radar bubble that it does. Um, so yeah, that's kind of annoying. It's like, if it's out of the radar bubble, don't show it to me. But at the same time, I understand that if you're walking around and it'll alert you to a Pokestop, you could pull open the app and then see where that Pokestop is if you don't know where the Pokestop is and walk closer to it. So, and of course this is a walking game, so yeah. Um, yeah, putting the wrist strap on is pretty easy. Uh, if you see this screw right here, you just get your standard, you know, you can get one of those eyeglass screwdrivers and just, you know, sometimes. This one's actually a little bit smaller than the screw itself, but so you can see me use a little bit of force. Let's see. Sorry if I go off screen here a little bit. So yeah, there we go. Got it off. Took like two quick turns. You'll see it comes with a 20, a CR2032 battery. Um, I've had it for two weeks. Two, three weeks. And of course, if a CR2032 battery dies that quick, it's not bad. Or doesn't die that quick. You'll see, actually, I just just managed to, you see a notch there, and then a notch in the strap and the actual clip itself. Um, you just plug that in there like so. Of course, you see, oh, where's the screw? It's actually right here. So, Having to hold it up and like so, and tighten it back. Of course, you know I'm trying to use a screwdriver to shoot small, so I had to do a couple extra turns. And you know, to tighten it up, you just pull here and close that. And the thing that annoys me about this is this little clip here that the strap goes into doesn't always hold it and you see it's only halfway across or a quarter of the way across yeah that's annoying and sad to say but this is my wrist size i got tiny eight-year-old boy hands or wrists my hands are not big they are very i mean not small they are very bigly using them trump words but anyways um yeah so there all right sorry guys kind of got cut off ran out of space on my phone but anyways, um, yeah, that's a Pokemon Go Plus. Um, it's actually kind of handy to have. Um, so yeah, I would suggest using this in combination with having the app actually running, uh, if you're if it's possible for you at that moment, so that you know what you're catching. Because if you've been playing the game since launch, 
you've actually caught a majority of the Pokemon already, so you'll mostly get a green light. Maybe there's some po specific Pokemon that you want to power up and only catch to that specific Pokemon, which is why I suggest using this in combination with the app actually running. Uh, so yeah, go out and get it. $34.99 at Best Buy. Best Buy. GameStop, actually Best Buy sh is supposed to be getting it. Um, so is Walmart. Um, I think I saw Target also. Uh, but you, of course you can get them jacked up prices on Amazon and eBay. Um, but closing out the video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.